Hi everyone, this is Robert Dempsey, CEO of ADS, and I'm doing this video in response to some comments on the blog post that you see here on the video installing the JDK 1.6 on Mac OS X. Some of our non-programmer readers were having some issues figuring out exactly how to get this up and going, and so I'm hoping with this video I can do a much better job of explaining than I did in the blog post. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is download Soy Latte per the instructions that we have here, entering in the username and password. Once you have it downloaded, and for me, it downloaded to my downloads folder here, you want to unzip it. And you can do that simply by double-clicking on the file that uh, was downloaded. And I've already done that because it takes a little bit since that file is about 53 megabytes in size. So once you have Soy Latte here, the next thing that you want to do is optionally uh, do is rename the folder. And I'm going to actually do that so that I can keep my path much shorter. So now that I have it uh, renamed, the next thing that I want to do is add the Soy Latte folder and bin folder specifically to my path. And this is where a lot of confusion came up. And it's not something that's readily obvious. Now the path variable is a variable that the computer uses to find uh, executables on your computer. And to find out what the current path says, you can just type echo dollar path all uppercase and it'll spit out something close to this right here. And what we need is actually the path to this bin folder in here. And the way that we can do that is using this command right here. Open applications, text edit, and giving it this path. Now this dot profile is a hidden file on our computer that has this path information in it. And if we hit enter, then text edit opens up. And I'm going to just make this a bit larger. And you can see here this export path uh, stuff right here. So what we need is the full path to this bin folder and we need to put it right in there. And so the way that we can do that is go back to our terminal session and by default when you open up the terminal it goes into your home folder which is usually whatever the name of your computer is here. And underneath that home folder is going to be the downloads folder. And if I type in ls and hit enter, I get a listing of all the, the folders and files that are in my current directory. And I can see that the downloads folder is right there. So what I want to do is type in cd, and I type downloads. And if I do another ls, I can see the soy latte folder right here as well. So if I type cd soy latte and then I type in again cd bin, then that puts me right into this bin folder here. And to get the full path to this folder, which is what I'm going to need to enter into this path, there are a lot of paths, then I can grab that by typing pwd and hit enter. And now that gives me the full path to this bin folder. So I want to highlight that, and I want to right click and hit copy, and up here in this export part, right after this colon and before the path, the dollar path here, I want to paste that in right there. So I paste, and then I add another colon, and I hit Apple S to save this file. Now, because we were editing this file in this session, what we need to do is open up another one of these tabs by hitting Apple T. And if we now type echo dollar path all uppercase, then we can see that we do have the soy latte path, the whole thing, the users, Robert Dempsey, download soy latte bin in our path. So now we should be able to type Java dash version, and it says we are running Java version 1.6.0 underscore 03. And that is the soy latte version of Java installed. So I hope this video helps out with a lot of confusion. If you have any other questions, please do post some comments on this blog post, and I will try to answer them as best I can. Thank you.